Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nobody's going to get caught sleepwalking in this, baby. A couple of top 10 games, nobody's going to get caught unaware with their pants down. This is like two heavyweights standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, ready to smack each other right in the kisser. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. for today's game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Boy, has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From their own 32-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. Alabama's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Five-yard line. Henry gets three yards on the carry. That makes it third and seven. It's third and seven. Ball on the 35-yard line. Throws right, intercepted. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First and 10, ball on the 45. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 36-yard line. That brings up second and one. Cover tight, down the tight. Cover tight. Three down, three down. Room around the corner. He's at the 20, the 10. Tackled inside the five-yard line. How about that run? There you get a glimpse of why this tailback is on everybody's short list of Heisman candidates. He just is a phenomenal athlete. Just inside the five. It's first down. taken down at the five and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop this is textbook this is how you're supposed to play against the run Ryer 
Gains around two yards there on the option. It was a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. They'll run it. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Florida is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it is good. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's take a look at scores around the country. And for South Carolina, they draw first blood with a passing touchdown. And for Adams, he's grabbed a touchdown pass in this one. The Gamecocks have the edge, 7-0. And for Florida, they met up with the Gamecocks Jones last week. To return. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Gators are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gives it right side. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask, defense. They're giving away oh, three yards down. and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From their own 38 yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Henry gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Brought down around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 43. him out at the 41 yard line That's good for a game third down now they need to get it down to the 34 tackle made at about the 29 yard line he is such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations Fights forward to about the 29. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Ready! They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Alabama can tie it up here with this kick. 
He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Florida has a three-point lead. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball in the 29. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Straight ahead for about six yards, and with that, they're going to pick up the first down. That's an excellent call against an aggressive defense. Once those linemen and linebackers bit on the pass play, they completely lost track of the runner. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Big hit there to stop it. Jones makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Motion. Three on three. Motion, motion, motion. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. On the run. Nice run there. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That'll bring up fourth and five. Florida is up a field goal. He takes it at the 12. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Florida's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off go. and run with it. He's hit and taken down. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 31. He's to the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 48. seven-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Swings it out left to the halfback, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 36.
They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Gators with a three-point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle around the 18-yard line. First and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Time right, time right. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Let's go. Three, three. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's taken down to the nine-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he converts the extra point. A nice 10 play, 81 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 20 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. That makes it second and 10. From their own 20 yard line, it's second down. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. And for Anderson, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. From their own 18-yard line, it's third down. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Here's a quick throw. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Townsend is waiting for the snap. Great. Fields is the 44. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Alabama is up four. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. He makes it to the 35-yard line. He 
takes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He makes his way out to about the 25. First down. Gets to about the eight yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Two times, two times. Alabama is up by four. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Here's the eighth play of the series. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Check by 40. Check by 40. Here we go. Green 90. Green. Got his tight end touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to get you up to date on what's happening in Bloomington. And for Ohio State, they're sleepwalking through this thing. They don't turn it around. They're going to get into a world of trouble. This baby's tied at 17. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Scott has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. run and he's brought down that's good for a gain of five yards that'll bring up third and two double tight, double tight. Two down, two down. this crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team quick throw out to the receiver incomplete this wide receiver is very frustrated you can tell by his body language he did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Alabama's really putting a hurting on him right now. Well, you wonder if it was a coach or a player who kind of lit the fire under this offense, but we've seen a completely different-looking team, and they're executing at a much higher level. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From the 47-yard line, first down. He 
those tackles. Right around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Steps out of bounds at about the 41. That'll make it 35. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 41. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Cool will be the return man. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Incomplete, and they'll turn it over. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Two down, two down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Yeah. Makes it to the 47. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 47. After a decent run up the gut. They'll bring him down around the 45 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. their own 48-yard line. First down. Caught out in the open. And down he goes around the 46-yard line. Green gains six yards with a short completion. Alabama will take their first time out of the half. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Howard was the intended receiver on the play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. 40's Mike, 40's the Mike. Ready! Wide 80! Wide 80! Scrambling around, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. That'll bring up fourth and nine. 
Scott to punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Throwing right. Complete. And they finally knock him out at the 47-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Florida will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Scrambling, and they got it. Makes the side. Loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it third and thirteen. Listen to this place. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. He lets it fly. Almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. And awaits the snap. Drake fields it at the 24. He's tackled at the 30. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 14-3, Alabama. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I That totally, was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you are doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked continue to do it. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, it's just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. Second 
Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Brought down at the 37. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He makes his way to about the 45. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they make the stop at the 44. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. They run it for the first, and he stops. Townsend is the punter. Great. Fields it at the 19. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And he's taken down at the 32. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Just throws this one away. field he steps out at the 49 Ridley picks up about four yards with a catch third down five yards to go ball on the 49 yard line here we go Red 18. Red 18. he's taken down around the 32 yard line From the 32-yard line, first down. Set, green 95, green. Uh, 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 Complete. It's the junior, and he's tackled at the 21-yard line. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, tie. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. 
That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Taylor up the gut. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That gives him a total of 100 yards on his carry so far. I'm so impressed with the way he runs, and I've got to say, he might be my favorite at this point for the Heisman Trophy. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 42. Off, up the middle. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Larry, Larry. Chins the mic. Chins the mic. Focus. Focus. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He fights forward to about the 49, and they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. scrambling and that was a big stop defensively yeah they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive great job by the defense to shut them down I can't argue the play call the defense just did their job by standing their ground the quarterback is on his way back onto the field and he led a great drive last time out and off to the right Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's good for a of five yards. That brings up second and five. From the 46-yard line. Second down. Here we go. He gets rid of this one. It's all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Touchdown. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 32-yard line. First down. They'll get him for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Makes it second and 14. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull out there. Go. 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 Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Third down at a couple of miles here. 
Ball on the 27. Out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. Townsend is waiting for the snap. And he can't hang on to the ball. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. For a loss behind the line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Henry gets another hand on. Tackle for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Three down, three down. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws it out there. Great concentration to pull it in. Touchdown, Alabama! Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Bulldogs were ranked 19th. And after that bitterly disappointing performance, they can expect to be unranked next week. The upset is complete. And for Collins, an outstanding performance with three touchdowns on the ground. Arkansas wins it 28-24. In other action, we've been locked in on what's going on in Columbia. Let's take a look at this one again. And for FSU, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. The Gamecocks have the edge, 31-7. And for Alabama, they just played Mississippi State last week. Scott gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. The Gators have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Let's it go. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a game of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10.
First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 19, Mike 19. I do. Scrambling around, and he's sacked. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And down he goes at the 39. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. So with one quarter remaining, the Crimson Tide in front, 28-3. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Well, that's a nice stop right there here early in the fourth quarter, but they've made those kind of plays all day, and that's why we've got a blowout on our hands. Great, back deep to return. Gets out to about the 31. Alabama has proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 45. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Alabama looking to build on this commanding lead here. He makes it to the 45-yard line. it out to maybe the 46 yard line call it a gain of one yard that'll make it third and nine third down now and they need to get it inside the 45 three down three down 40 spike 40 spike green 90 green 90 he's gonna air it long and he got it touchdown crimson tide He's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 69-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He's on the run. Brought down at the 23. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 23 yard line. Second down. Mike 19, Mike 19. And he throws it away. Quick out 
to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. First down. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From their own 49-yard line. First down. By 10. By 10, by 10. I go Now he tries to buy some time. No one open, so he's going to run. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. He steps out around the 31 yard line. That makes it second and six. It's our time. It's our time. Mike 19. Mike 19. Motion. 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 He's going to try and scramble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of seven yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Black, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Alabama comes to the line in complete control in this game. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Forty's Mike, forty's a Mike. Ready, ready. Huh? Going deep. He goes up and gets it. Touchdown time. He makes it four scoring passes. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Seminoles came into the game ranked fifth. After that performance, They'll drop like a stone. And for South Carolina, the win today sends them off to a bowl. And for Adams, he grabbed a couple of scoring tosses. South Carolina wins it 31-7. Reese, we're in the midst of a blowout, my friend. Scott is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. For Alabama, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They're still allowing the passing game to click. Well, when you come after the quarterback and you don't get there, it usually leaves somebody open, or at least some space to work with. The contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Yes. 
Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. McGee was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 18. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 22. He's scrambling. And they got him. They need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this defense is coming after him. Townsend to punt. He drops it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Ready, waiting. And a quick throw. And for Howard, he's got 100 yards now. You know, Brad, this guy continues to make plays. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I would put a corner on him down low underneath, and I'd put a safety over top of him, put two defenders on him to try to slow him down, because right now, one-on-one -on -one coverage, he is destroying. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Alabama up by a big margin. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First and ten. Ball of the 22. Four down, four down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Ready. Right. Right. Here's a handoff, left side. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second and 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. made right around the 22-yard line. Third down. And here's another third down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And 
and he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. At about the 15-yard line. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And, Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Under a minute left in the game. He fights forward to about the 20. A yard, maybe two on the carry. got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. He makes it out to midfield. The senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, he really has. You know, this is the kind of guy that's a, just a perfect fit for this system. This team's really going to miss him down the road starting next year. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. The lights went out a long time ago, for one of these teams anyway. They'll be put out of their misery soon. Hot set, Oklahoma! Nice run, and he's brought down. This one's in the books, and our final score, Alabama 42, Florida 3. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? I have to say that I wasn't expecting a blowout victory. Florida got flat out embarrassed, and these players sure look disappointed. They just got to learn to move on and try to improve. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.